हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम ईजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माई प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज बेस्ड ऑन स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सर्विस इंटरफेस विच इज़ एक्चुअली हैंडलिंग योर ऑल बिजनेस ऑपरेशन विच इज़ नथिंग बट ए बैक बोन ऑफ द कम्प्लीट प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिक्लेयर ऑल द मैथड प्रोटोटाइप्स फॉर द बिजनेस लॉजिक एंड नाउ इन दिस करेंट वीडियो डिस्कशन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल दीज uh services so let's have a look at the interface this is what the interface we have created here and one imp uh, important thing i have done here a little change i have done in this interface which is i provided here constants so uh this constant represents active status of the logged in uh, active status of the user and this is the blocked status so it is difficult to remember the meaning of one and two and that's why i prefer to go with the constant i declared here two constants so this constant is for active and this is for the blocked similarly it is difficult to remember the role so one means what two means what so it is better to use a constant here so role one means admin and role two will be general user so no need to remember the status one two that's it now let's talk about the implementation of this uh, method so before going to implement this we should understand this overall scenario so look at this this user service i am going to implement in user service implementation class and uh, this service can make use of your daos if the logic is already present in your dao because dao has a lot of things ready but dao is only working for single table crud operation which is quite raw and when you are talking about the business logic you need to uh, calculate the things you need to perform some customized operation and you can make uh, you need to make use of the transactions and all you need to communicate with multiple tables so dao cannot do that so but if the operation is already present in dao we can reuse that here so i'm going to register the user with the help of dao because we have already created a method here to save the user and that operation can be used for registering the user in fact some other operations will be used there so this user dao will be added here as a dependency and dependency is nothing but a, you can declare as a data member of the user service implementation so dao is a member here which is nothing but has a relation so how we read it user service implementation has a user dao which is your dependency right and one important thing we can see here uh, the user service implementation can uh, uh, write some logic which is based on database so sometime you may need to write some customized query and required database support jdbc template support or named parameter jdbc template support so we have already pre prepared one cl base dao class which can provide me the access of jdbc templates and named parameter jdbc template so i can extend this base dao for uh, taking the advantage from database and the interface will be what we have created in my previous session right so this is what the overall scenario i am going to do right an important thing remember here don't inject this user dao implementation here because one layer should communicate with another layer through the interfaces so come uh, in integration of layers must be done through the interfaces so inside this implementation i'm using here user dao uh, user dao instead of the implementation so look at this user service implementation is kind of using here interface right so this is the right way now come to the class here so let's create one class this is my user service implementation and as we discussed in my slide i'm going to uh, implement here user service okay now we can make use of base dao if required so this is base dao i can use here so that database support will be available here and implement all the methods right and we, there is one annotation called service to 
represent your business layer to represent the business logic so it's a specialized version of the component annotation so component is a generalized version and for business layer you need to use services so this service annotation is important to make it a service layer so it's a good idea good practice and one important thing I can make use of user DAO if operations are already available in DAO we can reuse that so this is done and it should be auto wired then only the object will be available here right otherwise DAO can't be accessed here so this is ready and now when someone is calling this register method by passing the user object I will pass this user object to the DAO and this save method will save the user in database so this is actually simplified version and this is reusing the uh, existing method from the DAO to handle the job now it's ready it's time to test it so to test this I'm going to use this test package and let me copy here one I'm going to copy this save example and this is my test not DAO test user service and I'm going to test here register operation so not required this I'm going to use here user service and this is user service get the object from factory context dot get bean so this is uh, just a moment this is your contact service not contact we are working on user service and this is user service dot class okay we have got the object now user details will be taken from the registration form and let's assume that all the details are bind with the user object this is Nitin user I'm using and write some temporary phone number and this is Nitin Mumbai everything is okay this is Nitin and let's type the password here this is Nitin123 okay and here I can use constant as we talked as we already discussed in initial of this video and this is the constant role admin okay okay this is fine and status is active so user service dot status login status active okay this is done now I have to call here register method from the user service user service dot register okay this is all done let me write the message here user registered successfully now let's try to run this just a moment can we see here detail okay look at this we are able to see the registered user here look at this this is how we can see one important thing I can talk the user is registered one important thing I can show you here come to this this is my server uh, this is my configuration B, uh, the service layer configuration I have added here in this root config and look at the important thing so initially we have added here DAO package because all DAOs will be uh, scanned by the spring IOC container and I have added this part additionally so without this uh, uh, without this package declaration the code will not work so now spring can read DAOs from here and services from here and that's why I can make use of both the things together so this will be read by the spring and the DAOs are also read by the spring so this is how we can test so this is enough for the current discussion if you have any query regarding this you can ask in comments and uh, you can subscribe my channel for more updates in this series thank you very much for watching and see you in next video thanks a lot